So following on from the previous video, we got to this stage here. We got to uh, we got to this stage here, and it turns out that this whole thing here simplifies to to uh, to this. So uh, so now uh, now if you uh, if you look at this here, here you've got m plus one. If you look at this, you can um, you can factor out the the two. So it'd be m plus one. So this m plus one will cancel out with with one of the two here. So it will cancel out with this with this uh, squared here with this squared here. So uh, so we'll cancel out with this. So that would then so so this two here would then be this and then this thing here would be this and then um and then you've got your n plus one, n plus one. Well this thing here simplifies to this. So now you can multiply this out. Uh multiply this out. That will then give you this. So now as n heads towards infinity. So as n heads towards infinity, the numerator will will act as well as n gets bigger and bigger, it's going to act as 4n, and the uh, and the denominator, well, it's going to act as n. It's going to act as n. So that's, well, as n has to, or you, you can divide top and bottom by n if you want. So this divided by n, this divided by n. So you've got 4 up here, and then over 1. So uh, so the limit will be, the limit of this will be 4. So the limit of this will be 4. So going back from the... Uh, Go going back to the very beginning, we were trying to establish if this thing will converge or if this thing will diverge. Because it contains factorial, we, we should use the um, the ratio test. So using the ratio test, we we need to work out the value of this thing here. Well, the value of this thing here turns out to be this number four. So so number four is greater is greater than one. So we should be looking at this. So uh, so because this value here, because this value here is greater than then, uh, then one. Then we know that our original series, our original series, will diverge. So, as it turns out, our original series will um, will diverge. Okay.